Come on this way, Jason. I'm gonna show you the best things to consider when you're leveling a travel trailer. This particular situation, I chose a site that was fairly uneven, front to back and side to side. First thing you wanna do is level it from side to side. You always wanna make sure most of the weight remains on the axles. That's the way the trailer is designed. So you take a look at the site and then you back the trailer up and put down, you can bring along pieces of wood. There's stacking blocks like this that are available from anywhere they sell RV parts. And you put them down just behind the tire and then you sort of judge how many you would need and then you back the trailer up and that sets the leveling from side to side. So you can see here, we've already put a couple to make that nice and level. So once you've got it level side to side, you come around here and use your tongue jack. We pretty much set it up, but you adjust the height with your tongue jack to make it level front to back. Next thing you gotta do is stabilize it. So go ahead and grab our stabilizing rod here and just rotating that clockwise, we'll lower it counterclockwise would bring it up. Yeah. And just as the name suggests, these stabilizing jacks go down just to make it nice and firm. And what happens if it's, uh, you know, if, if it's really <laughs> soft ground? That's where these come in handy too. There's a, a quite a variety of this type of a part that's available. Or again, if you want to, you can just get some wood, something about the size of a two by six, cut it up into pieces, put them in so that you're not going too far into the ground. Okay. Same with the motor home. There's small pads, big pads, depending on the surface. Sometimes campgrounds, you're on gravel, so it's not as crucial, but grass like this is good to have some kind of a pad. So that feels pretty good. Yeah, you're probably right there. And once you're level and stabilized, then you're ready to put the slides out and finish hooking it up. <laughs>